before we get back to the phones, Mr. Snurdly asked me what I thought of the uh, major announcement by, by Vladimir Putin, the Grand Puba of Russia. And here is why the official program observer wanted me to weigh in. Vladimir Putin, some pronounce it Vladimir, is now bragging that his country and the KGB have developed an intercontinental nuclear missile that cannot be stopped. It cannot be shot down by any existing anti-missile defense system. And he's bragging that his nukes are better than our nukes. They're more powerful. They're more destructive. And unlike our nukes, Putin's nukes can't be stopped. It's a cruise missile, intercontinental ballistic cruise missile with unlimited range. Now, that clearly isn't true. There's no such thing as unlimited range because even Putin's missile is going to run out of energy. Even Putin missile is going to run out of fuel at some point. There's no such thing as unlimited range. I think what this means is that Putin can aim it at any target and hit it. But there's nothing with unlimited range. It was one of several unveiled by the Russian leader in his State of the Nation address in, uh, in Moscow. And they had graphs and charts and photos and other visual displays showing one of his missiles approaching the U.S. from a variety of different launch trajectories. It could go polar, it could go Antarctic polar, it could go east, it could go west, it could bounce, it could do any number of things. He was demonstrating that no, he could find a route to get his missile here, no matter how far the, the, the distance, that we could not stop. And interestingly, one of the, in, in the UK, and it's the UK Sun, I'm sorry, not the Daily Mail, the UK Sun describing this actually has a screenshot showing Florida as one of Putin's targets, Tampa. Shocking footage from one of the videos appeared to show Russian rockets targeting Florida with Tampa Bay clearly visible. With the the launch uh, uh, being somewhere in in Russia. Nuclear-powered cruise missile, nuclear-powered underwater drone, new hypersonic missile, which apparently have no equivalent. We don't have, according to Putin, anything like this. They showed footage illustrating the new unstoppable missile heading toward the United States as Putin promises to neutralize America's missile defense. Putin said to his audience, Russia remained a nuclear power, but no one wanted to listen to us. Well, listen to us now. Putin's new dream missile, the hypersonic ICBM, is called the Avangard, capable of traveling 20 times the speed of sound and strike like a meteorite, like a fireball. Here are Putin's most explosive claims from his speech. He's raised fears of a nuclear arms race. He unveiled new hypersonic nuclear weapons, which have no equal. The most frightening weapon he alluded to was a nuclear-powered cruise missile. It can travel 20 times the speed of sound, strike like a meteorite. meteorite. Calling it the avant-garde, has unlimited range, can't be intercepted, can't be shot down. Also announced a nuclear-powered underwater drone and cruise missile. And he said that his weapons have no equivalent in the West. And he vowed to wage nuclear war on the United States if Trump attacked first. And we're not threatening anybody. We're not going to take anything from anybody. If you hit us, you're done. That was his message. Still looking for the reaction to all this from Adam Schiff. Haven't seen anything yet.